As the London Olympic Games rev up, the committee has officially opened the doors to the Olympic Stadium in a glittering debut on Saturday night. Around 40,000 spectators defied wintry weather conditions to watch a ceremonial test event with the Games less than 100 days away. Andrew Dupuy has the story. Nine-year-old Naim Clark Willis joined LOCOG chairman Sebastian Coe, pressing the button that released hundreds of balloons and declared the stadium open for business. Ranks of spectators had lined up early and were ready for the gates to finally open for the evening's entertainment. A program of invitational races and stunts was organized to mark 2012 hours until the opening of the 2012 Olympic Games. The men's 100-meter race was open to UK athletics competitors, and James Ellington won the event in a time of 10.3 seconds. Ellington said the noise of the crowd lifted him to the win. Amazing. Um, the atmosphere was amazing. It was incredible. Coming out, it didn't hit me until I actually walked out of the mix zone into, onto the start line, and that's when it, that's when it got me. Ellington also praised the track. Co said the track had been designed to be the fastest. I think we've got a crowd pleaser in the stadium. I think we've also got technically one of the fastest tracks that's ever been laid. The guys that have helped us in Mondo are fantastic. And I think not only in the warm-up areas, but also on the training on the competitive track, we've got a surface the athletes like. The stadium earned its license to hold public events by staging Saturday's test event. That is also a requirement for the International Olympic Committee before hosting the games. Andrew Dupuis, CCTV.